Yo, what's up, man? Hey, we got the we got Soul Arch versus Quid. You probably know quite a bit about the Shulk matchup. Oh yeah. Oh, not not at all. <laughs> uh, Quid thinks that uh, this is matchup's pretty bad for Steve, but he he just wants to get some some Steve matchup knowledge. But uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of Shulk stuff will just go straight through blocks. Like so, you try to you try to throw up the Great Wall of China, and he's just like, nope. I feel like Steve's best options, like right there, were his yeah. first options, really. Uh, kind of like how Inkling goes. Like I made Inkling, and like pretty much the only way I can approach Shulk is with dash attack. Yeah. Uh, but Quid continues to maintain the the lead here. Yeah, I, I think the the, the Shulk counterplay is getting under him, and and Steve doesn't do a good job of getting under people. True. Yeah, he, Quid kind of seems. Yeah, he's spamming a lot of these up tilts. Yeah. yeah, you see, like once you're like, once you're firmly under him, you just gotta like worry about landing there, and then other than that, you're pretty okay. Okay, Quid's doing actually a good insane. job at just kind of cornering Soul Arts here uh, when he doesn't have an art on, of course. Oh, what's he gonna do with the TNT? Anvil? Wow, that was that was a crazy setup. <laughs> I was actually really curious to see if there was like some interaction with him trying to uh, up B back to ledge and hitting the TNT. Uh huh. I was wondering what would happen in that situation. I'm not actually entirely sure. I wonder if TNT is close enough to ledge if the up B will actually just trigger it. Oh wow. <laughs> that was a good <laughs> that was, that was under a ledge. Funky down area. Uh, at the end of the day, this is still Shulk and uh, robbery season can be in effect. Whoa. Yeah, he had to tech that down there. Could not. Cannot get bounced like that. I'm not even sure you can react to that. No? Yeah, that reaction would have been rough, but yeah, not teching the down air. He just got. It, it looks like match. Quid has a, a really solid grip on like the calculations he makes in neutral. It's like it's he, like nothing I've ever seen. He, honestly. He, he's really aware of what his funky hitboxes will put you. Like very aware of like I'm swinging these random like not random but like I'm swinging these like. Seemingly straight, random. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm swinging these stray hits, but I know exactly where it's going to put you. Like, in this situation, there's, like, no punish. Even if you tech it and I F smash at what I think is the bounce option, mm -hmm. what are you going to do to punish it? <laughs> wow, what does Shulk do here? I actually think Shield Minato is horrible against Steve because you're just going to get up tilt infinity. Yeah, well, it's, it's either get up tilted repeatedly or get zero to death without shield, so... <laughs> Yeah, but like normally after like up to two or three. Oh, that's a lot of damage on Buster double up airs. I love uh, Sean's use of uh, falling up air. Oh yeah, he uses it all the time. He loves that button. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to parry, honestly. And it's very, and, very safe. And especially with like something like uh, like Buster Art on deck. Oh, that's gonna take yeah. it. Quick stock ram. I think especially with Buster Art on deck, if he if he like sets up for like a falling up air, he can also just tomahawk grab. Like if, mm -hmm. if if you're aware that he's looking for falling up air, tomahawk grab becomes a very very real option. The only reason tomahawk grab is hard to get there is if you're not respecting the uh, the falling up air. Yeah, exactly. I feel like oh, oh that was God. just a raw back here. Yeah, that was caught you lacking. All right. Okay, he puts the shield on, but I don't really like okay, he, it. Now he's an advantage. Okay, yeah. So the shield really, did work out there. I do like the making things combo by starting the combo with shield art and then dropping it after the throw. So now you have throw combos with Shulk because you started with shield art and the shield art didn't throw far enough away. I did actually did not think about that. It's really cool. Okay, now he's got the diamond, diamond on deck. So this seems like it's even right now, but Quid can turn this around very easily. I'm curious. We were just talking about this. I wonder uh, if Soul Arts knows, but uh, apparently killing... Uh, let's see what the mix is. I want to see like a... Yeah, uh, apparently killing uh, the the table will reset Quid's resources. So uh, interesting. That's, so like when he was playing G-Extreme, G-Extreme made uh, an effort to kill the table a lot of the time, and it's because it will reset his resources. So if he's like close to Diamond, you can... Deny him the diamond before they're gonna take it. Yeah, that was good timing off the minecart. Yeah. You can deny him the diamond by killing the uh, the table. So like in this situation where you can't edge guard, killing the table is not a bad idea. Oh, 
Oh, oh, you can see he tried to he tried to punish up tilt with a B, but it still wasn't enough. That move is so safe. Yep. Yeah. See, it, it's always anyone's game with Smash Dragon deck, especially if I have you. If like uh, I have you on ledge of Shulk, the 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 options for you to die are a lot. Oh yes, he can just kind of throw out forward air and not really have forward air up smash. Yeah. Oh. Yo, yo, hello, hello. Anybody see that? Okay, okay. Anvil combos into into 